Hey everyone, it is Sunday, November 19th. The time is 3.18 p.m. and the temperature right now is around five degrees Celsius. And I am here. All oh, those people just sat where I wanted to sit. If only I got on the streetcar earlier. I'm here at Exhibition Station. I'm about to get on the 509 Harbor Front Streetcar. And we're going to take a streetcar ride. From here over to Union Station. And I guess this will be the window we get our view from. Oh, it looks like my camera oh, struggled to focus there. There we go. So once we start rolling, I will resume recording with the view from in the streetcars. We make our way from Exhibition Station to Union Station. All right, I'll be back. And a few minutes later, we are off. And this view will be mostly facing south. Oh, there's some mounted police. I just finished recording a couple of videos, one through Roncesvilles and Parkdale, and then one from Parkdale to Exhibition Station. Next stop, Strawn Avenue. It's been a while since I've done a streetcar ride. That's the fabulously hideous Hotel X off in the distance. I'm just going to power down the camera for a second and change the focus mode just so it doesn't start randomly grabbing focus onto thing. There we go. I didn't know tokens were still accepted, but you could buy a trip with cash there it looks like. Validate your transfer. You'll notice the operator is kind of in their own isolated compartment up there. It's quite different from the old streetcars. I'll be curious to see if a lot of people get on this one. Well, this guy's getting on. This is Strawn Avenue. Yeah, no, but I'm not really that person. Mm. Well, person. And the Prince's Gates like are just south of here. Mm. And then, um, I like festivals, so we have the same music, but festivals, they're like outside, whatever. Yeah. So it's a shame you don't, because there's a big, there's a big festival in Strawn Avenue, and there's a big one of the joys of being on transit, picking up a random conversation on the way. That's Coronation Park off in the distance. It's probably not focusing properly now because I changed the focus mode. 
We're at Fort York Boulevard. This seems to be a pretty long light cycle. So at Bathurst Street, we'll be veering south a little and heading down to Queens Key. There's the old Tip Top Taylor building, now the Tip Top Lofts. That's where Josh Donaldson lived at the Blue Jays when he was here. No, 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 no. 
All right, now we're heading southbound to Queenski. We'll be essentially riding alongside the lake. And fortunately, this streetcar has its own dedicated right away. That's the island airport, just a few minutes away by foot to the south of here. Someone doing it the old fashioned way. You can actually tap Next stop, Dan Leggy Way. With your debit card or credit card these days. Or Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, or Google Pay. So there's two streetcars that service Union Station, the 509 Harborfront, and the 510 Spadina. And we are at the south end of Spadina. This is where the Spadina streetcar heads north from Union. That'll head up through Chinatown all the way up to Spadina Station.
next stop, Rear Street. And the uh, Toronto Sky Dome, where the Blue Jays play, is just to the north right there. Next stop, Hyperfront Center. Next stop, Queen's Key Station, Toronto Island Ferry. And Love Park. Is just over there. This is the South Core District. Just a friendly reminder that there is no subway service on a portion of Line One on the University side between St. George and St. Andrew subway station. Shuttle buses are not running. You are encouraged to use surface routes to connect to Line One on the Young side for northbound southbound service. Once again, good afternoon. Just a friendly reminder that there is currently no subway service on a portion of Line 1 on the University side between St. George and St. Andrews subway station. You are encouraged to use surface route to connect to Line 1 on the Young side for northbound or southbound service as shuttle buses are not running. Thank you. In other words, fend for yourself. Now we're heading down to an underground streetcar stop. This is where I'd like to be at the back of the streetcar to get a view of the tunnel from the other side. Not much <laughs> to see at the window. It's odd, there's a hold up here. There must be someone on foot crossing, or perhaps we caught up to the streetcar in front of us. I think this is the only underground non-terminal streetcar station. That's not true, St. Clair West is, but that is the standalone streetcar station that is connected to the subway. And this is where you'd get off if you're heading up to the Island Ferry, although if you're from Union Station, I would just skip the streetcar and make the walk. Next stop, Union Station of Express and Via Rail. Thank you. 
We must have caught up to the streetcar in front of us. And I just missed the train northbound up the Young Street side of Line 1. There's a lot of not depressing at all art down here. But on that note, that was the 509 Harborfront Streetcar from Exhibition to Union. It only took 20 minutes or so, and there was a few kind of slow, hokey parts. I'm going to wait for the next subway train. It would have been cool if I was able to board that on this one, but we're going to sign off. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Look at that. Why is that on the platform of a subway station? Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. Yoink.